the most common type of diabetes which is about 80% of the diabetes that we see in the whole world is called type 2 diabetes which is usually seen in individuals above 35 years of age. This is a type of diabetes which can initially be managed by just lifestyle modifications that's healthy diet and regular exercise and maybe with tablets but over a period of time they will need insulin injections or the other injections that are available for the management of diabetes. The other type of diabetes is relatively less common and it's called as type 1 diabetes and this is typically the diabetes that we see in younger individuals usually below the age of 20 years or so. And this is a type of diabetes which happens because of absolute failure of production of insulin in the body. And when this is diagnosed, the patient needs to be on insulin injections right from day one. Tablets will not work here. The other type of diabetes that we see commonly is known as pregnancy diabetes and in medical terms also known as gestational diabetes. This is the type of diabetes that is seen in pregnant women due to the hormonal changes that happen in pregnancy. And the good news about this type of diabetes is by and large in nearly 90% of the patients this is temporary. That is when the baby is born the diabetes goes away and the blood sugar returns to normal. In a small proportion of patients the diabetes might remain which might need management. But the important thing to bear in mind is if the blood sugars have come back to normal after delivery of the baby, it is important to understand that there is always a 50% increased risk of developing type 2 diabetes in future and hence please check your blood sugars at regularly intervals, maybe about six to once every 6 to 8 months.